every physical issue has emotional causes. I had a young boy, 13 years old, with migraines, migraine. Mm -hmm. And um, this is a 13-year-old boy. He doesn't understand reincarnation. He just knows that every three weeks he's off school for several days with these agonizing headaches. And his mom brought him. And um, his subconscious said there were eight past lives. And he cleared all of those eight past lives in one hour, in one session. So he went into, and he, his mom was watching the session. At the end of the session, she had, she could, I just looked around. She was amazed at what was happening. He went into the, I can't remember the order, but he went into, let's say, the first past life, um, where he was a man whose wife was having an affair. And he was standing in a garden, worried about this. And his wife comes up behind him quietly with a spade, and smacked him around the back of the head, oof, and he was dead. And he went straight into the next past life where he's a young boy at school, and he kicked the school bully, and the school bully got hold of him and started smacking his head against a wall. So his mom takes him to hospital and he dies on the way to hospital. He went into the next past life where he's a man in a bar somewhere, and he gets into a fight, and somebody punches him on the floor, and then they're kicking him in the head dead and he went into the next past life where he was driving a car and a lorry came smashing into the side of the car and it was maybe the 1960s so he wasn't wearing a seat belt so his head went bash on the steering wheel dead and he went into the next past life <laughs> where he was an old man standing on some old stairs and wooden stairs and the wooden step fell apart and he fell to the floor and landed on his head dead and he went into the next past life. You know, it was one after another. And most migraine, most migraine is caused by deaths in past lives where there's been blows to the head. We worked through all eight past lives in that one session. His migraines were completely cured. Aww. So, I mean, this is... Uh, this is in interesting, but it's it's this is serious stuff. Mm. You know, people would think all oh, this past life stuff is all nonsense and it's a bit weird and it's full of new agey things. No, this is th serious therapy, which helps serious issues. I had a client in Oslo with lip cancer, mm. cancer of the lip, and we found there were Two past lives causing the lip cancer. In one past life, she was a young African woman who was raped by an elder in the tribe and she could never then say anything because he was the elder in the tribe and, no, and people would have ostracised her, would have thrown her out of the tribe. Also, she would have then have never been able to get a man to get married if they knew she was raped. So she couldn't, she couldn't speak out. Lip cancer... <sighs> In the second past life, she was a young noble woman in about, she was maybe 16 or 17 years old. And she was a typical teenage girl. And she had a male who was like a servant. And she was very flirty around him. You know the word flirty, flirtatious? Yeah. And he got the wrong messages. Mm -hmm. And one day he kissed her. That should never, ever be done. He was just a servant. She was a member of nobility. And she was horrified. And when he saw how horrified she... He just got the wrong messages from her. He he realised he'd done a very bad thing. Now, she knew she couldn't tell her father because her father would have killed him. But she told her sister, who told her father, who had this young man killed. Oh. So it was about not speaking out. We cleared both of those past lives. She also had quite a lot of kinesiology, which is a wonderful therapy process. And she did a lot more work on herself. She cleaned the diet up. Several months later, she emailed me to say, I've just had the scans. They cannot find, there's not a trace of cancer in my body. Mm -hmm. So emotional causes to cancer. Every issue has emotional causes. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is really fascinating. Uh, I love hearing those stories. Uh, and I get curious because I would think that when we die, uh, we go to the other side and everything gets healed. Everything gets cleared, you know, through our life review. Uh, maybe we meet our guides and we sort of heal what needs to be healed. But it seems like we bring back to earth like the same stuff. Have you thought about that too? Mm. 
I don't specialize in in-between life work, but I've had a lot of clients over the years who, after the death experience in a past life, have naturally gone into into spirit to experience what happens in spirit. And certainly, yes, there is this process where uh, they meet guides or elders who help them to understand the life they've just lived and also understand where they've gone wrong, where we've gone wrong in that life, with the mistakes we've made, um, so that we can sort of start to pick up next time where we went wrong. Um, but it, it, when we die, we let go of the earthly body and the pain body, you could say. I mean, Eckhart Tolle talks about the pain body. Mm -hmm. We let go of the pain body. And so there's great relief and an amazing sense of calmness. But the emotional stuff is still there somewhere and it will come back sooner or later in some future life if we don't work on it now all right so it is actually crucial that we work on our issues now in this present life yes and i think now on earth is a fascinating time i'm sure there is this great awakening going on and um when i look at the last 31 years Past life regression was not really looked at. Nowadays, it's becoming much more mainstream and people are prepared to look at the, the real benefits of it. And I think a lot of people now are healing for the future. Um, and that's for what is going to happen on Earth, maybe in the future or future lifetimes. Uh, but I think it's so important to heal our stuff now. Work on your stuff now. Mm -hmm. Don't wait because you you will take it with you and it will only keep coming back in future lives. And in English, we say it bites you on the bum. Mm. Uh, how could I know if um, something I'm struggling with is coming from this life or a past life? The subconscious knows. Um, the subconscious is this all-wise, all-knowing part of you. I actually believe, nowadays I believe we all have a higher self. And I believe that the subconscious either is the higher self or is intimately connected to the higher self. And it knows everything. Now, I, um, I've created a regression system, which I train therapists in around the world. Mm -hmm. And um, with this regression system, we use a hypnotic technique. We call it an idiomotor response, which is where when my client is in trance, I ask the subconscious to take control of a finger and the finger becomes very light and free. It's almost like a balloon. Mm -hmm. And what I ask the subconscious to do then is to signal yes or no with using the finger. So if I ask the subconscious a question, it wants to say yes, the finger comes up. If the subconscious wants to say no, the finger stays flat. And then I'm just asking yes, no questions of the subconscious because I don't know. I'm not clairvoyant. Well, we may be clairvoyant, but I'm, I don't play with that. Um, but my subcon the client's subconscious knows. So I will, uh, let's say I have a client who comes with a lack of confidence mm. and lack of confidence is caused by fear. It's always caused by locked in fear. Mm. And I say to my subcon the client's subconscious, have there been any traumas or significant emotional events in your present lifetime in this present life connected to causing the lack of confidence and it may say yes then i'll ask whereabouts in this life is it in your adult life your adolescence your childhood birth trauma because we do a lot of rebirthing we often bring we carry birth trauma through our lives from our births so we can rebirth and release that birth trauma and the time in the womb before birth so some of my clients have womb trauma. Are there any past life causes? It may say yes. I'll then say, how many past lives? One, two, three, four, it may go to four. Mm. So when we'll know, are there any ancestral lives? Um, have you inherited trauma from any of your ancestors, your four federa? Mm. And it may say yes. Mm. So we then have a diagnosis of exactly where we need to go. Mm. So the subconscious knows everything. And if we can ask it the right questions, it will tell us. To watch the full video, click the link below. And I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel.